You know, I said it once before, promises are like crying babies in a theater. You gotta carry them out as quick as you can. And this guy, well, he's into about the third act. And so I need to fix that problem and we're gonna do it in this video. Stay tuned. Hi, George here, and welcome to Tales from Target Suite, where I'll share my perspective on guns and shooting, and we'll spend some time at the range, and every now and then we'll reconvene out in my shop back in Houston, or here at the farm in Louisiana, where I'll build some fun projects, and we'll share an adventure or two that'll make even a grown man smile. And yes, if you're up to date in my videos, you've seen this guy before. And my friend Ron loaned me this Marlin Model 336 JM model. It's actually from 1988. And he asked me to take a look at it. Not that I'm a licensed gunsmith, but he knows I like to tinker. And so uh, he was having problems with failure to fire. And so I told him I'd love to uh, take a look at it on video. And we did that. And uh, we got him cleaned up and we tinkered a little bit off camera with a couple of things that we polished. And the question that we left was, did we fix his light primer strike, his failure to fire issue? And that I don't know, and that's why we're here today. We're gonna to solve that problem, or at least we're gonna answer that question, I should say. And so if you'll just jump with me right over there to the shooting bench, about 30 feet, and we're gonna send some rounds down range and uh, see, uh, see if we solve that problem. So walk with me. Okay, I know I'm not supposed to turn my back to the camera, but this isn't Hollywood, right? So I did enough shooting uh, earlier to uh, make sure that we we're on paper. And now what I'd like to do is to go through the three different kinds of... That's the bane of the South, fire ants. Um, and so what I'd like to do now is to go through the three kinds of ammunition that I have on hand, the uh, 30 30 ammo that I got for Ron. And I'd like to have some more choices, but we're in the middle of a, uh, a crisis right now with the coronavirus, and, and so uh, choices were a little bit slim. But what I do have, and, and what I'd like to do is, is um, with the three choices that I have, I want to shoot two groups of uh, three shots with each type of ammo and give me a rough idea of which one, if there is one, that's a standout above the others. Ron essentially is going to do, he's looking for a minute of deer here with this liver, uh, liver action um, Marlin because that's all he uses the rifle for. And so we just want to try to identify something that's going to help him get as close as we can, and then we're gonna start shooting some steel and burn up some more ammo. I did enough shooting earlier to, to at least get on paper. And now what I'd like to do is to shoot two groups of three shots for, of, for the three types, of, three, three types of ammunition that I have on hand. And what I've got is the, this is gonna be the first group that I shoot, typical, very traditional, almost ubiquitous Remington core locked bullet, 30 30. So I'm going to shoot two groups of uh, three shots with that. And then we're going to shoot a very modern uh, round. This is the new Lever, new Lever Evolution 160 grain FTX bullet. It's getting a lot of press these days. And then we're going to go uh, kind of with a modern traditional, and that's Hornady's uh, American Whitetail. 150 grain. This is this is just a round nose, soft point bullet. So uh, very traditional for 30/30. All three of them really are good uh, good choices for for a 30/30 hunting round. And so I've got three targets set up. I'm going to shoot two groups of three in each target, and then we'll bring them back here and uh, kind of take a look and see if we've got a standout among them. I'm going to be shooting right now at 50 yards because the trajectory. Um, for a 100-yard zero, the tra trajectory is zero at 50 yards, and then zero again at 100 yards, and then at 200 yards, which I would consider to be, for a woods rifle, is about max you want to go, is going to be about a minus four inches, or minus, minus four and a half inches. And so we're going to be shooting at 50 yards, and then we'll shoot again at 100 yards, which just for fun. And if Ron wants to adjust his uh, zero point, that's great. He can do that down um, a little bit later on. But let me get shooting. I promise not to drag you through all of these shots. <laughs> I figure I'd lose you. Um, but we're going to get this out of the way, and then we'll have some fun. Maybe even a, a couple of two gallons of water and see uh, what the 30, 30, different 30-30 rounds do as far as an energy transfer. And we'll, uh, we'll check that out. So let me get shooting, 
and then we'll have some real fun. I'm not sure what that tells us, but that's not what I would call a light primer strike. So I don't know. Uh, I don't know what to take from that. But I do know one thing: we need to let the barrel cool down. And so I'm going to cut off, and we'll uh, once the barrel cools off, we'll finish the other the other two groups. And in the meantime, I'm going to go get that uh, that target down there and bring it back. Okay, let me go get that target. That's the best one yet. There is the Remington 107, 170 grain core locked. That's a really sweet group right there. And that's just uh, probably an inch-ish, something like that. And so the Remington is not a bad choice. Now let's look at the Hornady American Whitetail 150 grain round nose. That's about an inch group. Maybe a little bit less, and that's uh, looks like about a three-quarter inch group, something like that. And these are both these are both round nose bullets, traditional round nose bullets. Now let's take a look at the Lever Revolution. And wow, okay, so that's two inches, and that's an inch and a half. And so this is going to be our practical ballistics segment. We uh, we already found out that the North American Whitetail and the uh, Remington core locked 170 grain round nose bullets both performed better than the, as far as accuracy goes, than the Hornady Lever Revolution. But the question is, how do they perform if you're faced with some angry two gallon, two and a half gallon jugs of water? Which one is going to be your friend? And so we've got those set up right down here. We've got three of them. We'll do them in the same order. So here's the Remington 170 grain core locked bullet and we'll shoot the target on the right and uh, then we'll go down each each of the three targets and we'll see if we can record any significant variation in practical ballistics. Okay, that was the Remington 170 ring core lock. Now here's the um, Hornady Lever Revolution. And then the Hornady North American Whitetail.
so I can't, I can't, I can't tell anything um, what happened. We'll have to check the GoPro footage after the fact and and uh, see if there's anything uh, significant that we find. One thing I do note that all three of those two plus gallon jugs of water landed in front of the place where they were they were resting. That's an interesting bit of terminal ballistics. I'm just going to get started shooting now. I'm going to put up a few more targets that we can energize and then we'll shoot some steel and then I'll wrap up here in just a minute with you. So let me get set up and then we'll do some more shooting. Okay, I've got some uh, cans set up right about there. Three, three cans we're going to shoot at. We'll see if they'll sit still for me to get three rounds off. That was a mess. So the first target I'm going to shoot is going to be this water jug right here at 100 yards. Let's see if we can hit it. So there you have it. We've got uh, probably 120 rounds total through Ron's rifle this trip. We've had one, um, you, some might call it a light primer strike, but you saw that primer. That didn't look like a light strike to me. And uh, out of 120 rounds, that was the, the one Remington uh, failure, failure we had was with the Remington um, 170 grain core lock. My recommendation based on the accuracy test we did would be just to stay with the North American Whitetail 150 grain round nose, unless you unless Ron wants to do a lot more work. So uh, it's been fun. We're uh, practicing our social distancing here uh, in the midst of the coronavirus thing. Our nearest uh, neighbor is hundreds of yards away, and uh, we're 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 uh, just staying hunkered down here and uh, looking forward to all of this being behind us. So uh, thanks for joining me, and you know what? I'm going to see. I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, stay <laughs> stay safe.